Hey, I'm Dr. Hannah Hamlin, and today I'm going to talk to you about the N-Pen by Medtronic. This is a really cool option for additional support with data management for people using insulin pens. And I, I think I found out about this later. It's been on the market for quite a while, and I just hadn't seen it used. I recently met with one of the Medtronic representatives, learned a lot about the qualities that it has, and I was quite shocked that I hadn't heard about it yet and that it's not used more frequently because I think it has some great features that could make quality of life improve, but also helping with insulin dosing, tracking kind of what's going on and allowing us to adjust our insulin settings based on what we can see a little bit more accurately. So I actually have a demo here. So this is the Inpen box and I'll pull it out. What makes this a little bit different than using the regular uh, pens for insulin that we would pick up from the pharmacy is that this uses cartridges. You actually refill um, cartridges into the pen. So this is the in-pen itself. Apparently it comes in a couple colors. I heard pink is one of the options, <laughs> which I love. And you can see here is where you would put the cartridge in and you would refill it each time. Now this pen Bluetooths to an app on your phone and you're able to use that app on your phone to input your carbohydrate ratio, to input your correction factor and really calculate out your doses just like you would if you were using a smart calculator on an insulin pump. So once you have your settings um, filled out with your provider, what you can do at home is type in your carbohydrate. Let's say I'm going to have 30 carbs for lunch and my blood sugar is 153, I can put both of those things in and it will calculate a recommended insulin dose for me. So I love that. I think that could be so helpful, especially people who are brand new to type one diabetes, who are just figuring things out, how to do the math on a sensitivity factor and a curb ratio might be a little bit overwhelming in the beginning, especially with so many other things that you're trying to learn at the same time. Um, I can see a lot of value. But what I really like about this is that that app in the phone that you're in pen Bluetooth is able to track when you give your insulin dose. So let's say I just bolus five units right now and I press this through, just the act of pressing it is going to send the app data that I took five units. So if I'm running through a busy day and I have a higher blood sugar and I give myself a correction and I, I check on my glucose monitor and I'm noticing that I'm still high a little bit later, I might say, Oh, should I correct again? How long has it been since I gave that last correction? Has it had enough time to work yet? I can't remember, you know, I've been moving so fast. What time did I take it? It's right in their app. You can go back and look and see when your last correction was. You can see when your last meal bolus was. You can remind yourself if you forgot to take a bolus, which is really nice. Again, this only works for fast acting insulin and the insulin specifically are Humalog, Novolog, and Fios. We don't have Lumjev cartridges yet, but I think we're, uh, attempting to move in that direction is what I've heard. Um, but Fiasp, Humalog, and Novolog make cartridges that you can fill it with. I can really see this app helpful. I'm on MDI or multi-daily injections right now, and I find it quite nice. I've been doing it on and off for years, and I've kind of learned what works for me with it. But I really think the data would be helpful. What I love about insulin pumps is that you've got all the data about your total daily dose of insulin, when you're taking it, what it looks like. And it allows you to go back and look at trends and kind of troubleshoot and say, you know, man, is my lunch dose routinely too low? Is there something going on in my life that allows me to need less insulin? For example, if I'm low every Saturday because I've got a long soccer practice that day, it'll help pick up that trend in the data maybe faster than you could think of it on your own or realize it. You know, it might take you a couple low Saturdays in a row to start noticing that when the data could show you sooner. So I really like this. I think it would be a great option for a person who is brand new to type 1 diabetes. I think it'd be a great option really for anyone on pens now that we have the technology to manage the data better, doing it either manually where we're writing it down on paper or taking notes in an app on our phone or not taking any data down around how we're using our multi-daily injections. I mean, it's certainly something that I think most of us find ourselves in one of those categories if we're not using the in-pen. And so it's functional, it can be good and healthy and fine. But I do think the data would be really nice, especially 
from a provider view as well, if I was helping someone manage their blood glucose and they were on pens, it would be a lot harder for me to interpret their trends if we didn't have all the data in insulin. We just had the data from their continuous glucose monitor. And so I might be able to give a lot more clear and accurate recommendations to a patient of mine if they had the data from an in-pen. The pricing for this in the United States seems to be very good, and the manufacturer even has options for people who don't have coverage that are quite affordable cash options. So I do think it's worth looking into, even if you're not sure if your insurance would cover it. It is something that it seems like there are good choices for people in the U.S. right now. So if you're interested, this might be something to talk to your provider about. I wish I had known about it sooner. And truthfully, I wish I had tried it sooner as well. I think that there's a lot of, of good to it here. Uh, if you have any more questions or thoughts or technology you would like me to review, please let me know. And if you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe. Thanks for listening to the end.